So hello friend, welcome to Bollywood Rubble and uh, tell me how are things going with you during this unlock phase? <laughs> things are things are good. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean in the world I know everything's uh, kind of taking its rebirth maybe. Mm-hmm. Um, being born again with different ideas and different thoughts and different ways of living. Mm-hmm. But uh, for me also it's it's been it's it's been different but I'm keeping myself occupied mm-hmm. like I do. Mm-hmm. I still wake up at 5 a.m. and finish my workout and then I paint. So basically trying to use this time to make myself better than I was mm-hmm. in every way. Okay. And uh, your new series, uh, the MX exclusive Dangerous, is about to release on 14th of August. Uh, so please tell yeah. us more about this series and how did it come to you? It's a, it's a thriller that we sh- shot in 2018, mm-hmm. and um, we shot in London. It's uh, it, it's got a lot of twists and turns, and mm-hmm. uh, Pasha and I together, and uh, Mushan Patel, uh, our director, he's director. Mm-hmm. He's uh, He's awesome to work with. We did alone with him, mm-hmm. and Vikram is it. So it's uh, it'll be good. You like it? I hope. Okay. And would you like to tell us about your character also? Uh, the character name is Aditya Dhanraj, and he's a businessman who's uh, made all his money on his own, um, and he's never taken any help from anyone. So he's a self-made guy. Uh, so he has that pride, mm-hmm. and. Uh, if I tell you any more, then I'll be telling you a lot. <laughs> so, uh, it's it's um, basically his wife's been kidnapped, and they need to kind of find out who done it. Okay. And uh, recently, your uh, co-actor Natasha Suri uh, she tested positive for coronavirus. So, I mean, is yeah. she doing fine now? Are you in touch with him? Uh, I'm not, but Vipasha messaged her the other day. Mm-hmm. And uh, I think yesterday, a bit before. Yeah, she's she's still, I mean, not absolutely recovered, and mm-hmm. her family is also not well. So we're sending her healing and lots mm-hmm. of love. I'm sure she'll be fine soon. Okay, and I, I should tell her that she should eat food like mm-hmm. more because she's so thin. Mm-hmm. Maybe <laughs> that will help if she eats a lot more food. <laughs> And uh, you know, uh, you and Vipasha have uh, come together uh, after a long time on on the big screen. So, how enriching was this experience, uh, both in personal capacity and in professional capacity as actors, as co-actors? See, every moment that I spend with her is enriching, even at home. Mm-hmm. Uh, but at work, she's uh, she's a master of what she does, mm-hmm. and she's excellent at it. And she has her own unique style mm-hmm. uh, that you know, even if you want to, you can't like. You know, you can't internalize it because it's unique to her. Mm-hmm. So it's, she's always a pleasure to work with and to watch. Um, and lots to learn from her. Mm-hmm. Personal life and professional life. Mm-hmm. Always learning. So coming to that, Vipasha uh, you know, uh, is someone who has a lot of experience working with thrillers. She's known for, you know, uh, yeah. for this genre. Yeah. So what inputs uh, did you seek from her? Because given the tremendous experience that she has in this particular genre. Um, inputs in the sense that, you know, uh, whenever I um, plan a character in my head, mm-hmm. I always speak to her about it. And she always tells me what she feels about it. Sometimes uh, she's very brutally honest. She actually, she's brutally honest mm-hmm. all the time. Mm-hmm. She doesn't have a filter. Mm-hmm. Like, if I want to say something to you, you might feel bad. Mm-hmm. So I'll filter it, right? Mm-hmm. So that Lada Bura no mm-hmm. well, She doesn't have that filter. She'll just say exactly to your face and it's very important to have someone like that in your life. Uh, but yeah, she, there, there are a lot of things that she told me and um, I incorporated them because, I mean, it's uh, difficult to get advice from, you know, somebody who's worked so much mm-hmm. and uh, to get it for free is like <laughs> a gift from God. So that's okay. Cool. And uh, what made you say yes to this particular project? What was that one scene, if you if you would like to point out one scene or one dialogue that made you okay? This is this is something I would want to do. Yeah, I can't I can't tell you the one scene or one dialogue mm-hmm. because uh, it's it's it, like it'll reveal too much. Mm-hmm. But um, 
I like the fact that the character has layers <laughs> and uh, it's not one dimensional. I don't like anything one dimensional. So um, the fact that there is much more to him uh, than he portrays, mm -hmm. that's uh, something that should have already said too much. No, no, that, that is yeah. fine. Right. So, so, yeah, so basically it's it's just that and it's a thriller mm -hmm. and I like thrillers personally to watch also because uh, they keep you guessing and they keep you on the edge and uh, it's fast paced. So mm -hmm. that's fine. Okay. And uh, what all preparations did you take up uh, to play this part? Um, there's a thing that I learned sometime back when I was learning production and uh, direction and writing. Mm -hmm. uh, it's called uh, the character diamond. I remember I'd gone to the Stabler's office and mm -hmm. there's a class there. Um, so what I do is whenever I have to play a character, I make the character diamond. Uh, in that you have about four to five points that are unique to that character and that make him. So once I create that um, character in my head, then I'm done. Then I can handle all the situations and all the scenes according to that. So you just switch from current to the other character, mm -hmm. and um, he's alive. Okay. Okay. And uh, you know, um, you did your hotel management, uh, if I'm not wrong, if I'm not mistaken. So that's that's culinary art that you got trained in. And then I've seen yes. on Instagram there's a lot of paintings, you know, and different art, artists. Art, yeah. Lots of this bed making and, and yeah. also flower arrangement and mm -hmm. I know how to sew and yeah. clean bathroom. So, so there, there's, there's this artist in you that I can see from your Instagram post also, from uh, through your artworks. Uh, so would you like to uh, tell us that, you know, what are you trying to, uh, you know, uh, make a comment on or you know, trying to say as an artist? Um... I'm fortunate that I have another dimension to my uh, being an artist. Mm -hmm. uh, not only performing arts, but I'm painting also now. That mm -hmm. also has happened because of the passion. Mm -hmm. um, because I was somebody, like I always have a pen in my hand or, or something and paper. And if I see anything, I just keep drawing. Um, it didn't have to mean anything. It's just something that happened on its own naturally. Mm -hmm. And I used to, you know, just crumple it up and throw it later, whenever. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm done with it. So one day I was making one and uh, she asked me what that drawing was. She mm -hmm. said, it looks interesting. So I told her it's called Dreaming Bird. She's like, what does that mean? I'm like, Basically, uh, uh, when the child is in the womb, before the soul enters the womb, in the body, mm -hmm. uh, you dream about the highest life that you can live mm -hmm. uh, in the best possible way. That is God's plan for you. So that's what happens. So this is in transition. Mm -hmm. So she's like, really? It means that? I'm sorry. <laughs> that's what it is. Mm -hmm. She said, yeah, this is very interesting stuff. Make some more. And then I just, I started with black pen and ink. Mm -hmm. Now I use everything. So uh, what, what uh, do you uh, specialize in or what personally attracts you? Is it charcoal on paper or acrylic or is it is it everything? The medium, basically. I see, I'm not... I'm not an art student, so um, I didn't have any um, knowledge on what to use on what. Mm -hmm. But there is another part to it, but I didn't have any limitations, so I don't know mm -hmm. what not to use and what. So I'm mm -hmm. just like, my the world is all open for me. So mm -hmm. I don't know, mm -hmm. I didn't even know dimensions of the sheets or the canvas that I was doing. People mm -hmm. used to ask me, how big is it? So I'd be like, how big is this? This much, <laughs> so um, it's uh, I mix everything. Mm -hmm. I use spray and I use um, acrylic wax. Mm -hmm. um, don't oil oil haven't ever used. Um, mm -hmm. I I use things also like mm -hmm. uh, glue and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Okay, okay. And how about watercolors? Yeah, watercolors as well. I mean, I use, really, I use everything. Mm -hmm. I use black pen and ink on on paint also. Mm -hmm. So, you see my work, it's, uh, mm -hmm. you can go to starinfinityart.com. Mm -hmm. That's my website. Okay. So, there you can see a few things if you want mm -hmm. to see the kind of work I do. Okay. And are you planning to uh, put your paintings on exhibition in, in, in the near future? Uh, once everything goes back to normal? Mm -hmm. We, we we were planning on uh, the 16th of March, but then the whole world closed down. 
I think Corona got upset with us because we didn't invite it. <laughs> it's the world is closed. <laughs> so I think once everything gets back to normal, mm -hmm. then we'll look at it again. And, because it's a, me painting and the exhibition is a very small, minute, minuscule thing compared to what is happening in the world yeah. and what everyone is going through. Mm -hmm. So it's like uh, you be really selfish and self-centered if you're thinking about the exhibition of the whole world yeah. and going on through everything. So mm -hmm. once everyone is back to normal, they've had their rebirth and they know what mm -hmm. to do next, mm -hmm. then I think, yeah, then it's time for art. Okay. And you have been away from, uh, from the big screen for quite some time. Uh, so was it art that kept you engaged all this while or uh, you were trying to venture into other stuffs also? Uh, yeah, mostly it was art um, mm -hmm. because, you know, it's, I'm very lucky because uh, I'm being able to do something that I'm passionate about. There are mm -hmm. a lot of people who don't get that opportunity or don't have enough courage to follow their dreams. Mm -hmm. You know, they'll get stuck in their jobs and they'll crib every day mm -hmm. and they're just waiting for office to close so they can go back and live their life. I was like, I would not, I did, I mean, I worked at the hotel for a mm -hmm. year mm -hmm. at the Sheraton and that was because of that he said, you know, plan A, plan B, make everything, then go and work at it. So it's, uh, I'm lucky that I had art and mm -hmm. I'm lucky that I'm a part of the, the entertainment industry because only because of being there, mm -hmm. I've got this time to do something else. If I was in another job or anything else, I'm not going to get think, five, six months, seven months off to do something else. They'll be like, oh, you're fired. Yeah. Bye bye. So, like being an actor mm -hmm. and also being somebody who can choose uh, when to work and what kind of projects to do mm -hmm. and have that time to give something else so you can make yourself better. It's like, mm -hmm. oh, thank you. God. Thank you. <laughs> and you spoke about the pandemic, you know, and what's all happening around the world. Uh, everyone is anxious, everyone is, you know, but these are troubling times. So, how do you see the world changing its course from here on? I think, firstly, I think everyone, the whole world together collectively, should come to an understanding that this is caused by us. Mm -hmm. It's uh, not one person or one country or one community that has done it. To everybody else, mm -hmm. we all collectively have done this to ourselves. Yeah, because we took Mother Earth for granted, mm -hmm. and we thought that ये हमारा है सब कुछ हम मतलब जो करना चाहे करेंगे तो like we have cells in our body. I believe that we are the cells mm -hmm. of our planet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and she's doing everything that she needs to to balance mm -hmm. everything out. Yes, so what we need to understand is. Mm -hmm. We need to understand firstly that it's because of us and then mm -hmm. change whatever we need to change within us mm -hmm. so that we can be um, in sync mm -hmm. with nature. Because nature. There's no better plan than nature has. Yeah. I mean, you feel that, no, I have a better plan than what nature has. It's like, <laughs> no, you don't. So understand where we went wrong mm -hmm. and correct it and move forward. Okay. And you spoke about, you know, uh, humans feeling that, you know, they are the everything on this planet. So do you think yeah. that as the power comes, the sense of coexistence, it vanishes? I mean, are they inversely proportional to each other? I think power comes with something that really feeds the ego and takes you away from the self, which is very saddening because if you had power and you direct it towards the self, Mm -hmm. Even though it's called self, it's actually for the collective, not for yeah. the individual. Mm -hmm. It always works like that. So you have power and you feed the ego with it mm -hmm. and forget the self. Then you're just building walls and creating distances and boundaries and this is mine and that is yours. And we just, we're oh, like, we fall prey to our own misdoings. Mm -hmm. We will be as a community, as a tribe, as human beings, we are very intelligent people. Yeah. We have the power to do mm -hmm. lots, like anything, infinite possibilities. If we understand what our DNA is made of and what mm -hmm. we need to activate, mm -hmm. but uh, 
for that we need to understand that everything that we touch and see and hold is uh, that's not all that is mm-hmm. there's much more yeah so i think power just kind of ends up feeding ego because mm-hmm. uh, then you just want to control everything and want everything your way mm-hmm. and that is not that's that's not the right thing to do and sooner or later come back and bite you in the ass mm-hmm. okay talking about art coming back to it uh, how does a uh, painting or sketching or drawing helps you enhance the actor in you because there are a lot of colors and each color has you know denotes a certain mood so how does that art yeah. form help you enhance the actor in you um colors definitely yes um because i was only a black and white kind of guy mm-hmm. um in in my life also and in uh, in my art also mm-hmm. and when the colors came in I, everything everything kind of changed together so it was like a, a synchronicity of things that were happening together and one more thing that i learned from art to enhance the actor in me is movement now movement of myself or the brush or the strokes or actually there's a, a form of workout that i do that is also called movement it mm-hmm. started by uh, this person called ido portal uh, he's uh, israeli and he's mm-hmm. basically he makes yoga and tai chi and lots of things together mm-hmm. to make this thing called movement where we work on the skeletal muscle mm-hmm. so basically you look or your body will be a by product of your hard work mm-hmm. not the other way around not the inside out mm-hmm. so with it stresses, art, I learned, it stresses yeah. more on mindfulness is it i mean is this particular yes. moment okay yeah mind you have to be mindfulness otherwise you'll end up breaking things mm-hmm. <laughs> it's like that mm-hmm. so movement in the sense that now when i was painting i used to um be aware of every breath mm-hmm. because my brush would move in a certain way if i'm breathing properly mm-hmm. and if i do not breathe properly it doesn't it doesn't move like that it yeah. moves differently mm-hmm. and i can start the movement from my foot and carry it to and bring it to the hand and then move it or i can start it half way so when i was acting also being aware of the breath and being aware of every part of my body and being able to control every part of my body like my feet and hands i uh, because of painting i became uh, ambidextrous also um, which i was in now i use both hands so mm-hmm. um for an actor it just kind of opened another dimension for me mm-hmm. like you don't only have to think about the lines or um your emotion but there's so much more you can add to it so mm-hmm. that helps a lot okay and uh, you know uh, in dangerous you play a very you know uh, stylized character so does this flamboyance come naturally to you to portray on screen um uh, i mean it does like in in life real life if you know me i'm always without footwear mm-hmm. um if i had my way i would not wear shoes outside also mm-hmm. but uh, the pass is like uh, your feet will get dirty and stuff so, <laughs> so it, it flamboyance in, in the sense that not with things but maybe um maybe what i feel inside kind mm-hmm. of shows mm-hmm. so that being flamboyant in a role becomes a natural for me to do mm-hmm. okay and an an actor uh you know kind of paints his character on the canvas what the writer has given to you is like a canvas and then the actor comes in you know uh induces his brush strokes or of the character of his moods or his shades so if you have to give your character a painting name like you said with you know a dreaming bird so for your character yeah. in dangerous dreaming is dreaming birth dreaming birth yeah no. sorry i'm sorry yeah. so uh, so mm-hmm. if you have to give a name to this character what you have portrayed in dangerous what would it be the title of this painting I call it the gray line. Mm-hmm. And why would you say so? Because uh, he is not black and he's not white and mm-hmm. uh he's not any other color. But he is gray. So okay. gray is good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
Okay, cool. So and that lines is why because uh, there's only one one way he knows how to go, mm -hmm. and that's from down to up in that straight line. Mm -hmm. So maybe that's why. Okay. So that brings us to the end of, our, of this conversation. Uh, I would like to know if there's something that I may have missed us as a question and would have loved to answer. Uh, no, man. I think we covered everything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. So on that note, thank you so much for talking to us and I wish you all the best for Dangerous and all your upcoming thank projects. Yeah. Thank Thanks, you sir. so much. Take care. Bye-bye.